Okay, guys. So we're gonna do some half bar passing. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about how the guy defend himself and what he need to do to pass the guard. Okay. Now, if the guy have his shield, you know, why we call this shield? Because with this knee here and his leg is not allowing me to get close to him, okay? Sometimes the shield is high. Some guys like to lock the shield and have the shield on your hip. And all that is, uh, I need to see what, what I have against me to choose uh, the pass that will be appropriate, okay? So let's talk about when the shield is high. Boom. The guy have a high shield, he's controlling my arm, you know, there's a bunch of different ways he could make his grips, okay? He could have the hand on the shoulder, the lapel, okay? So when you have the shield that's high, it's complicated for me to put his knees together, right? If his knees are, uh, if he had the close guard here, it's easier for me to pinch his knees together. When the shield is high, it's a lot harder for me to get, to uh, pinch his knees here. So anyways, I'm still going to grab his pants, okay, below the knee, never above the knee. Why is that? If I grab above the knee, it's easier for him to get into a lasso sweep and sweep me. If I grab it below the knee, if he try to get into the lasso, even though he makes a grip, okay, hold, hold my, my wrist, okay, it's easier for me to make my hand rotation and get away from that. So... Never above the knee, always knee and below, okay? I like to grab right by the beginning of the calf here, okay? Four fingers, then I wrap the gear, then here we go. Now notice that he's controlling my arm. What am I gonna do is, I'm also gonna control his arm. So I'm gonna rotate my hand and go over to control his arm. Remember, right here he have control. If I rotate my hand, I have control. Remember we talk about grip fighting. I'm gonna talk about grip fighting all the time. This is already grip fighting. We're fighting for the better grip. So right here, my arm is dead, okay? So I'm gonna rotate my hand. Once I make this grip, okay, keep your shield high, that's when I'm gonna come up. So once I come up, my right leg is gonna come up first. Never bring this leg first. Okay, because if you bring your left leg first, your right knee on the floor, if he just open up his knee here, oh, poof, oh, I'm getting dumped already. Okay, so in a half guard, it's very important for you to, after you establish this, pick up the leg that is inside the guard. Okay, now here we go, I'm gonna come up. Once I stand up, I pick my butt up. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, go behind me real quick. Pay attention my right leg. My right leg is going to bring, I want to bring my shin, okay, and use his shin as a track to pull back, okay. Then I'm going to keep circling to get you side control. I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to try to smash him here, okay. So here I am. So he got my arm, I got the pants control, I rotate, I pin it down, right leg up, left leg, shin against shin, it slides back. Look, he's blocking me. But if I go to north south, that block, that dies. Just make sure your head, don't, you know, uh, don't stick your head in here. Okay, keep your head. So I don't get a loop choke. Uh, keep your head over his arm the whole time. Okay, if he pick this up, his elbow up, he might try setting you up for you to stick your head here. Don't do it. Okay, so after you control his grip, right here, leg up, slice your leg back. I'm off his half, off, uh, his half guard already. My legs are free. Okay, remember, okay, do not get your side control. Go to north south. If I go to side control, am I gonna stick my head right into the alligator's mouth here? Boom. And I'm gonna get choked. So when it's time to go, I'm gonna circle. And my shoulders, pay attention to my head. Putting pressure on his bicep here. So he cannot loop my head. Right here can, can, can get in. 
and finalize the pass. Or I might even rotate it a little longer. Okay? So again, <coughs> important details here. Okay? High uh, shield. Okay? I'm not going to be able to pinch his knees. But that's fine. I still can do the guard with the hand in between the legs. He has my arm, control. Okay, I do not gonna start this pass until I have the grip established. What I mean by that, until my arm is on top. Once I get there, remember, that's grip fighting, okay? I'm gonna come up, right leg first, butt up, break your hip. Look where my hip is pointing. I'm going backwards first. Okay, and now I'm gonna come up again. Okay, and my head, I was pointing to his bicep here. And notice that I don't let go of his arm yet. Okay, boom, then I come in. Okay, why is this important to have? So he doesn't roll on his knees. Okay, right here, establish him, and can go ahead and start establishing here. Okay, that's it.